Hi traders, welcome to this demonstration of the FX Pivots Pro for MT5. This is a 32-bit or x86 installation guide video tutorial basically. Uh, this is more complicated than the 64-bit version which is kind of somewhat weird. Um, the first thing you need to do is go to your control panel and go to file folder options and go to view and now make sure that hidden files and folders is show hidden files underneath that hidden files and folders folder is checked so you need to show hidden files folders and drives and now if you apply that click OK that's the first thing. Now you've been given an installation email which will have your installation URLs and they will give you access to the setup program. And before you run this, you need to work out where your root folder is. And unfortunately, I, I have no idea why, but um, with the 32 bit installation, the only way you can really get your indicators and expert advisors to show up in your application is to load them in a fairly obscure directory which is as follows you need to go to your local disk go to users now go to your username mine's Crispin and now now you've made hidden folders visible you need you can now see this grayed out folder called app data so double click app data and then go to roaming and in roaming go down to meta quotes highlight the terminal window sorry open the terminal file and now you can see these strange alphanumeric codes up here these represent each 32-bit installation um, for MT5 on from different brokers and the curious thing is there's no way to actually look at them and know which one is which which is utterly stupid but there we are so if you open the folder up and go into the bases folder and look down you'll see a Vantage FX folder this is from Vantage that's the broker name so now we've identified that's the Vantage account in actual fact I want to install in the Alpari account which I set up earlier so let's just check Go into the bases folder and the next one down, and that is the indeed the Alpari account. And this strange alphanumeric code is the root folder. So now we know what that is. It begins DEA4. So if we go back to our installer, run our installer, accept the agreement, and then browse to that folder and I've already got that set up so go down to terminal DEA4 hit OK hit next it's telling me uh, the folder already exists do I want to install in that folder anyway yes I do and now I click install and then finish the install now I'm going to close this Windows Explorer window and I'm going to load up my Alpari MT5 demo account first thing to mention is make sure you're running this on a licensed MT4 account so if you've submitted license information uh, to us prior, when you actually purchased your product no problem at all um, you'll see your licensing details in the original installation email if you ha if you need to add or amend those you can easily do so by following the instructions on the installation page so now we can see we have our Daily Pivots Pro MT5 x86 installation here so MT5 is picking it up which is good news the first thing we need to do is is load a chart so let's load up um, let's load up a euro dollar chart and I'm going to get rid of the grid go to candlesticks shift my grid to the right sorry left and now I'm going to simply click and drag 
my daily pivots pro indicator onto the chart, allow DLL imports, enter my unique reference number, enter my ID, now click OK. What the system is now doing, first time it's run, is it's asking you to confirm the path uh, using this Java licensing man or license management interface. So we go to C users Crispin, or your name basically, go to app data, roaming, meta quotes, terminal, and remember that long odd alphanumeric number which corresponds to our Alpari installation. Click OK and the installation loads up. So there we go. That is an installation in the 32-bit mode in Windows 7. Um, it's I have to say it myself. It's uh, ugly to say the least. But uh, I've queried it with MetaQuotes about why uh, the brokers are using these funny alphanumeric codes um, or why the installation creates that when it goes into this kind of roaming folder in the Windows 7 file system it uh, isn't pretty but um, there we go that's, that's the installation <laughs> thanks very much